All right. Um, welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Morpha project. Um, I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this one. So today we're gonna be working on you know the coloring here again, like like we did before. And uh, so today we're gonna be working on it, and then um, I think I will be finished uh, next week. No, 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 that's not possible because we're actually having a problem, which is that um, next week, uh, this week, actually, uh, Friday is actually sealed off for me. Why? Because, you know, I'm, it's then the first uh, Christmas day, so the first of Christmas day, the, the day where, you know, you come with family, and then the second days afterwards, so... So Friday and Saturday I will be not be available to draw, and well, technically S Saturday is never a day to draw, but uh, you get my point. So uh, I will be I will be not doing uh, drawings until you know the until New Year's Eve, I think. Oh hey Blue, nice to see you. So yeah, um, I think that's the thing. So um until until you know new until the new year new years I don't be I won't be able to live stream probably I don't know if that's true but looks like it anyway uh it is like a little vacation from my part but I still would like to draw you know it's a good thing to do drawing is fun so, um, today we're going to be working on, you know, the, again, the, the wing part that we're already doing in the first place. And uh, after that, you know, we will be finally able to get started with, you know, the coloring. Uh, yes. Also, um, if you didn't notice, um, I am not tired today. Oh no, he's not tired. What does this mean? Well, this means that I am way more, uh, way more, uh, way more easier to, you know, uh, focus. So I'll be able to just, you know, have the right motivation to do things instead of, you know, being a, being very tired, and uh, will be not be able to speak that often. Now I will because, you know, I'm not that tired anymore. Anyway, so that's the thing that I uh, that I want to say. So I hope you guys enjoy. There you go. So yeah, it is a thing that happens, you know. Uh, I sometimes I'm sometimes having like you know because I did too many things, I get exhausted and well you know. I try to do my very best to be not exhausted when I try to do the drawing. So I'm happy, I'm very happy that I did so. So yeah. Anyway. I think I did this one wrong. Yeah, we can see now. Also, you can see that, you know, you can see already the transparency that happens when you know you don't do the things so yeah there is a lot of transparency in this brush I try to do my very best to keep the transparency as low as possible because you know it's important for me to have that transparency gone so yeah um, 
Now if I deselect, there you go, easy. So yeah, um, I'm a little bit more, I'm a little bit more, you know, not less exhausted, so I will be able to keep my eyes open. That that was the problem that I had last yet last time. Mm. My head was like really spinning. I had really hot. I had really problems to keeping my head straight. But yeah, um, so this week I will be not able to do um, working on my color on my project. Uh, from not now, not tomorrow, but the day after that. So I, you will probably, you know, see, you know, uh, another live stream uh, next week. At least, you know, when that week is over, then yeah, I will be continuing. For tomorrow, yes, and then the day after that, no. Or should I just say, like, I'm gonna keep a whole week out of it the whole the whole damn thing out of it eh yes I would rather do that so so that everybody knows uh, tomorrow I won't work on my moth project and then the day after that I have my family coming over the day after that I have my family coming over and then the day after that uh, hold on I have my calendar here with me no need to double check alright so, uh, how much how much did I say? So tomorrow there is nothing. Then the day afterwards it's the fir tomorrow uh, tomorrow is the day before Christmas. Then it's Christmas one, Christmas two, and then it is so Monday. Uh, wait, hold on. So to today it uh, uh, today it is. Wednesday, I think. Hold on, double check. Is it a Wednesday? It's a Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's a Wednesday. So tomorrow is Tuesday, then the day after that is Friday, and after that it's Saturday. Uh, Saturday. So I will be able to do things Sunday. I will be able to do things on the Tuesday. So that's the two things that I will do. And then Monday I will do things, and then uh, uh, Tuesday I will do things, and then Wednesday I will do things, and then Thursday I won't be able to do things, because then it's New Year's Eve. Yeah. Aha. I am not that great with, I'm not great with da uh, dates, but this is what it is. Alright, so good. Anyway, let's continue. So yeah, uh, so tomorrow I will be working on it, and then the day afterwards I won't, the day after that I won't do, you know, gaming, and then the day after that I will, because, you know, then it is a day that I can do. So, it's like, Friday I won't be doing anything, Saturday I won't be doing anything, and then Sunday, maybe depends, situational, probably Saturday something. Yeah, yeah, Saturday I can no, Sunday I will be able to do things because Saturday is still yeah. <sighs> Alright, so we have that out of the way. So after that, uh if you probably already noticed, I am not good with dates. Like I am not good with un knowing them because I always live like a day. Like what I'm gonna be doing today. And that's quite literally like what I'm doing. And I always forget, like, oh, we have this planned. We have this planned. Yes, I'm quite forgettable when I when it comes to those things. Like, you had this planned a, a day ago, uh, a week ago. Yes. How did you forget? Uh, because I did not put it down, or I kind of because I was not remembered. That's normally why you know it's important for me to. Realize, like, hey, there is something going. There is something going on tomorrow. You should be alert. And you know, I'm just gonna give myself a heads up, like, hey, I need to make sure that I'm having those days free. And you probably, and you guys will then probably understand, like, why I did it. Like, nah, 
It's Christmas. Of course you're gonna have to take a day off. Normally, you know, I won't take a day off. Just like I don't want to, you know, waste days most of the times because I want this project to be done. I want this project to be finished. I want this project to be uh, perfect. Like, you know, I don't wanna... I wanna work on it like it's a devotion. It's a devotion that I do with purity of will and whatever. The the idea of is just, you know, I want this thing to be done. I wanna do something else as well. But I can't do that when I still work on this project. So therefore I want to finish this project. It's another it's another motivation why I want to do this. Why why I want to continue working on this project. It's because I want to finish it so that you know the person that I promised it to be working on it gets his satisfaction and that that way I will get my satisfaction and therefore I can then work on my uh you improving my YouTube channel on uh certain parts which I was lacking before. Like a proper intro, like a proper um a proper out line. There you go. So yeah, I will be recording that then as well. Like it's a new project one well, because you know it's working on improving my YouTube channel and I will just share my knowledge with you guys what I'm doing. Because you know it's it's quite cool to do that those things. It's like I'm doing something and you guys are gonna be watching me doing it. And why should I? Why why should we do why should you want to watch this? Well because it's really informa it's really informative. And you know it's always really handy dandy when somebody shows shows you wh how they do how they did it because you know you maybe have a clean product already but it's always handy dandy when somebody else does it because they have different expertise they have different they are from a different part of the work so you know you always can learn from from another person therefore it's always important that you respect those per people because you know you can always learn from them, regardless, uh, regardless of what what their profession is. Like, if I if I would saw a person that you know works twenty four seven uh, at a supermarket, I still will know like, oh wait, how do you approach customers? Well, you could just ask them, because they know. Even though you know they work at a supermarket, they know how they know how to approach customers. You didn't. And now you know because you asked. Oh well, as long as they want to give you the information. <laughs> I need to do an intro too. Ah, oh, no sign. <sighs> ah, yeah. Intro and outros are really hard to do, but I think I know exactly how I'm gonna be doing it. But holy hell, that's gonna be a big project. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna be starting with something very easy though, so that you know it's just quite relaxing. But I need to make sure that I have the way of doing things. So yeah, um, it's a thing that I want to do, and I am happy to show you guys how I did it. So that's why I'm gonna be doing it. <sighs> so yeah. I already have the tools to do it, so I already have the tools to make the intro. Ugh. I have already tools to make the intro, but that's gonna be like... I know how I'm gonna do it, but oh damn me. Because it's gonna be taking a while to get that thing done. So yeah. I then, from... Uh, I have the software to create the video, I have the software to create the pictures, I have the software to animate, right here. Only the thing downside is like, I need to know how to do it. So... But like always, like, I, like, like a person always said, even though I have never done it before, I think I can do it. Why? If you have never d done something before, you probably can do it. <laughs> Who is holding you back? I don't. You probably can do it. As long as you, you know, keep your as long as you keep your motivation, as long as you are like 
know that it is inside uh, as long as you know that it is inside of your range your expertise you probably will be fine so yeah i think i will be fine it just you know if somebody else can do it i can do it too well you know most of the times but i just want to be you know I just want to say, like, I want to make sure that I do it. You know, I wanna, I wanna learn that I need to know that I can do it. Because if I learn how to do it, I can then make more of it. Oh well, not more of it, but and it, ah, words are always this difficult. Yikes! All right, so the because I know how to do it, it means that other people know that I can do it. Because I know how to do it, and I can teach other people to show how I did it. Therefore, they know how to do it. Therefore, they can make their own. And because you can do it, it means that everybody can do it. Because, you know, it just takes steps. But those steps might be big for a person at first sight. Therefore, I always recommend just do baby steps. As long as you're doing the baby steps method, like I do, like this. This is like a baby step every single time. Like Ryan D Johnson's, yeah, just fucking do it. Just do it. Let your dream be dreams. Or like, I don't know if you know this person, but if you type it in, like how how I t how I tell you to write it down, like this person, this person had the the quote actually came from this person, uh, like. There you go. It's a very, very informative, you know, it was a very old show back in the days, but damn, it was good. It was really good. But yeah, it's a, it's a show, it's a children's show where, you know, a little girl just lifts up a horse, you know, that, that kind of stuff. So yeah, she's really strong, really powerful, she's really strong and really good. And she gives really helpful advice. So yeah. Um, yeah, she is the... She was... Oh, well, she is still the mo It's one of my, you know, children's series that I watched. Back in the days, you know. Back in the old days. Back in my days. That, that way. But yeah. Um, just take baby steps and you will be fine. Your Your ass will be saved. So yeah, um, now we're going to be continuing, so that's good to know. So yeah, also, hey Space Junk, <laughs> nice to see you around, nice to see that you could uh, come to come to see, see me. So yeah, um, So yeah, the, the 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 ideas of like how I did my projects, I always do it in baby steps, and those baby steps, then you know, once all those steps are combined, they form one big giant picture. They will find will form one big art. Even though you know they might it might be overwhelming at first, it eventually will be better because you know you you see what's going on, you see how it's happening. And then eventually, you know, you uh, won't be overwhelmed. Therefore, you will get the information. You will get more excited. You just need to find out where you need to start and how you need to start. What do you need to prep for? What 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 kind of challenges will you find on the way? And how are you gonna be dealing with those challenges? Most of these challenges, child, eh, the words, weird words, words, words. So most of these child, yeah. Most of these challenges are easy avoidable or, you know, are predictable. Therefore, there is a solution on the internet or a solution somewhere else. Because there is a solution on it, it means that you will find a way to deal with it. And if you know how to deal with it, it means that you, you will it will make your life a lot easier. Because, you know... You found a way how to deal with it. it. Means that you can avoid it, or you can avoid it in in the in the next time. Also, because the solutions are also the solutions are already found, it means that you know 
if you just follow their instructions, most likely you will solve your own damn problem. And because you solve your own damn problem means that you can then continue with your baby steps. And because the solutions are always small, most likely, because you know it's just a little it's just a little drawback instead of a big one, and there is no way out. But this time there is because you know you did baby steps. Uh, it's easy to backtrack. It's easy to you know compare the problem with yours, and therefore your solution will be easily will be easier will be will be able to be fixed quite easy. Uh, quite easy. Is that a good word? Yeah, that's a good word. So yeah. Um, so as long as you just keep your, as long as you have your motivation to do it, you probably will be fine. You just need to have the right motivation, the right determination, and therefore, you know, then you will be able to get to where the goals that you want. I really like it. Like my moth project, my moth art project is like really big because you know. Now it's not as big as a coral, coral, but it had different challenges in it. It had different kind of challenges in it. It had proportion challenges in it. It had structure challenges in it. It had design challenges in it. And because I took the baby steps to do so, because I did it step by step, therefore the challenges and the proportion challenges and the and the texture challenges and all that stuff came by easily, came by easier. Because, you know, I put them inside of big giant corners. I put them inside of places where, you know, you can see all the angles. And then corners is not the right word. I just separated them and then cut them and cut the problem down by bits. So that, you know, it's easy to analyze the problem that I'm dealing with and how to deal with it. And because it's a baby step, it means that the analyzation is going to be not taking long. Therefore, you know, the solution is going to be easier findable yeah that's that's more like it that's uh that's the uh that's the uh thing right that, that's the wording yeah words words so yeah like for instance um because i'm now doing the coloring i still have the problem that i don't know if you know hacks wants a background or what kind of background he wants but because I'm waiting, you know, for my, you know, first part of the drawing to be complete, I can just, you know, wait for it to happen. Because the background is going to be coming last, it means that, you know, once I'm finished with the drawing, it means uh, I can then ask him about, you know, the background. Or he wants the background, or he wants, a, you know, a transparent background, or whatever he wants. And so, because, you know, I don't, I don't need to, you know, because I don't need to, you know, work on the background, it means that, you know, I can put more effort in this before I can ask around for the background. This saves a lot of time, this saves a lot of product, this saves a lot of things to do, because, you know, the background is a thing that is pretty big. So this is why I'm doing first this, because, you know, this is more important. Because you want to have first the Morphog project, you want to first have the Morphog instead of the background. If you're doing the background first before the Morphog, that means... Uh, that means that you're doing... You're doing great, don't get me wrong here. But... All, all, always lead to Rome, but, you know... It's better for me to do first the Morphog, therefore, you know, giving him already an impression how it's going to be looking. Giving me a better impression how it looks, how the looks look, and then focus on the background afterwards. Because the background needs different attentions, needs to have different things in it, and I just need to know what. And, you know, the best answer is going to be asking Hex himself about this. So... It just takes time. I stayed up really late writing and now I feel like uh, asleep at my desk. Come on, coffee kick in. Aww. Oh, that's that's so sad. Well, you know, 
at least you know now how it felt what I did yesterday. That's how I felt. Like I was like so tired that I could almost fall asleep. My eyes were like blinking like oh shit I need to work. God damn it. Work, work. So yeah. I'm very happy, you know, that that you know, I got over it, the tired the tired part like I overworked myself and you know, I am not going to be doing that. No. Nope. I am not gonna be doing that anymore. So yeah, it's a thing that happens. It's a thing that can happen, you know. So overworking is like really nasty because you know it it, it drains your mind from imagination, and everybody knows that imagination is important. So yeah. Um, once this is all done, you know, I'm gonna be, once this Moth project is done, I'm gonna be working on my YouTube account. It's a thing that needs to be done, it's a thing that I want to be done, and also it's a thing that's gonna be making you guys really happy, because, you know, you guys can watch then finally an intro and an outro, and of course, a new project! Ooh, very spooky. Of course, I will be working on it. Of course, I will record it because it's information that I like to show to you guys as well. I want to share you my thoughts, progress, how I did it, how I completed my channel, or well, how I made my channel like this right now. And also, I want to just, you know, in the back, in the meantime, I want to also play games. So I'm going to be doing that as well on the Saturday and Sunday still. So I'll keep my schedule, but I will be working on different things. Instead, but I cannot work on my YouTube channel until I have my Moth Art project finished. And don't get me wrong, I really love this thing, and I'm gonna be working on it. So yeah. Um. So probably this is gonna be taking like two months more. Yeah. So December, November. Oh wait, December, November. No, that's not right. Hold on. December, January, ah there you go, and then February, so I think it is done in February, yeah, but the looks of it this thing is going to be done in February I think, if I know uh, what kind of background I'm going to be using, like what kind of background he wants, like he want, does he want to have like a background that li is like you know, also draw uh, is also fully drawn, or does he want to have a basic background? That's up up to him soon. So that's what I'm going to be asking him. Therefore, it depends. So if it is a flat background, I will say it's going to be only taking two months more, and then I will be finished with the Malfa project. If it's not, then probably three months or four. But yeah, then I will be done. Well, you know. That's how much time it probably gonna take. Why do I say probably? Because I have no idea if that's the right call. Because you know it's it's a background. There can be a lot of things going on in the background. I probably think I'm gonna be drawing some trees and then you know leaves that fall down. Like that kind of approach. And then you know two trees on the side so it's gonna be a tree from uh, from the side then and one tree on the right and then you know big giant bot and then big giant uh big giant uh sticks on the side and uh, on the side from growing from the side from the tree you know with having some leaves and then some foliage and then having like this uh dark background with uh breaking light from the top yeah yeah, that kind of approach. I'm I'm thinking about going for that kind of approach. I just don't know if that's the right call. I don't know it just yet. This is why it's important that I need to know. So, you already noticed that there is a step then. Yes, the lighting step is going to be the last step because I need to first know what the background is going to be. If the background is going to be that foliage, I need to make sure that I do that. So because I need to decide where the lighting is coming from and then you know I can then do the lighting with combining it with the Malfoy himself 
of itself. So yeah, um, I hope that's a very clear answer why the lightning lighting is coming after the after the background. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm using yeah too much. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Um, so what I'm gonna be doing then after after the Malfa project is quite fun, and I'm ho and I'm excited for it. I'm also excited for the Malfa project to be finished. So I do have my motivation. I do have my motiv. I have my I have my motivation. I have my reasons why I want this thing to be finished. I have my reasons what I'm gonna be doing after that. So I already have plans, and I have. And the plans are really exciting. So I'm very happy about that part. It doesn't mean that, you know... It doesn't mean that... I'm not gonna be doing games anymore. No, 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 no. I'm still gonna be gaming. The Saturday and Sunday are for gaming, my boys. And girls. The, uh... The, uh... Yeah. The Saturday and Sunday are for gaming, and I'm probably just gonna be continuing on Temtem because you know it's Temtem. Who doesn't love Temtem? It's a real cool game. It's like a game that just lets you play with let just lets you play with Pokemon, but instead of Pokemon you have Temtem, and instead of Pokeballs you have cards. Ooh, very spooky. Also, apparently in in Temtem you know you have these people that want you dead. And also people that work for my lady, <laughs> for lady, uh, for lady, uh, how do you call her? A uh, lady lord, yeah, her lady lordship, yeah, that's the word. Fucking Sims, love it, just love it that they put some character like that in it. Like my lady lordship will hear about this. <laughs> it's like screw your lady, I already beat it her. Why would you be the diff why would you be different? So yeah. Lady L Lordship is fun. Also when you realize that, you know, you're working on this project and then you see like, oh, you're just doing drawings. Yeah, I'm doing drawings. Most of the times I'm doing drawings. It's not like the pro the projects are big, yes, but if you split them up, they are like really easy work. So that's why I'm doing it. It's like I'm just doing split work here. Also, you can see that I'm actually getting quite far now. I'm already halfway, halfway the halfway the video, and uh, well, look at that. I'm already working on the second part that I promised yesterday. I was saying like I will do this, yes, and I will get to it towards it. So yeah. Um, we're already working on, you know, uh, this part, and after this part, then the big, big stuff is coming. What, what do I mean? Um, I need to make sure that I have a pattern, a pattern designed for the wing itself. Uh, this, uh, this pattern needs to actually be, um, what do you say? It needs to be a copy of the pattern that I'm already using, so it needs to be a copy of this. But it needs to be an extension towards it as well. So yeah, it's a thing that I need to know uh, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be drawing, how I'm going to be drawing it on it. I'm probably just going to be copying and pasting the color uh, temp uh, template and then just you know switch it around a little bit and then you know put that on this part like a copy. Like I draw this. And then copy it, and then transform it, then transform it and turn it around like you know, like it's supposed to be on here instead of here. So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I already have like, I already have a, uh, I already have a plan. No, 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 no. Uh uh. No, you don't. 
There you go. No, you don't. You're not gonna be doing that. Uh -uh. I will not allow you. He was almost getting out of his shell. Uh -huh. Nope. Really? Really? Ah, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. I'm back to square one. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Alright. I'm um, so. There you go. I always forget that there is a button on the bottom side, so when I turn my when I turn my pencil around it's like surprise color change and I'm like No thank you Please don't do it So yeah. I'm very happy upon what I'm now already how far I already got succeeded in it. So, um it's already forty minutes in now. We already can see how far I'm getting. So after this one is done, I will show you guys already the result of it, like how far I already got. Because you know it's important that you know you see results, like you can see stuff. It's true to see results because it gives motivation. It's all also really handy dandy because you can see where you did something wrong. Or do you need to change something up? So yeah. It's funny how, you know, if I now go to the blue if I now go to the red black ground, let me see. Boom, you can see where, you know, I drew and where I'm not drew. So yeah, this is like the red background, so you can see like um, what I already did, like this is already done, this, this is how far I already am. So yeah, back background, really helpful if I need to know what I'm going to be drawing, how, uh, how much um, transparency is inside of it. There you go. How much transparency? Where the transparency is not like uh, where the transparency? Uh, there, where the transparency is? Yes, words. Thank you. So, um, continuing on the problem at hand, which you know is you know coloring. The problem with the coloring method I'm now using is actually that I'm using a, a terrible brush for it, because you know. Because it is a transparency, uh, transparency, uh, a high transparency brush. So if I would use the, if I would use this, you know, you can see that it has transparency problems. So. Most brushes here do have transparency problems, if I'm correct, so only this one does not. So this one is direct. This one is a direct result of, you know, non-transparency problems. So if I put this on like this, I instantly get the color I want. What I don't know, the only downside of this is that uh, because it is like a brush that is really rough, I don't get the fine, uh, I don't get this fine effect that I need. So, yeah. That's why I cannot use it, otherwise I would have used it already. But I want this fine effect that, you know, the only the Pencil 2 has. The Pencil 2 is a, is a really exciting. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's continue. Hope I'm talking what I'm doing. Uh so how was how was your day and how were your how were your days? I mean after all, I did a real I my day was fine. I I woke up, 
I was not tired. I did not overwork today. And I'm very happy that I didn't. And that's important. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys also have a great day. Because, you know, it's, it's important that, you know, you having a having a good day even though you know sometimes things can go bad because you know at the end of the day you need to have your motivation to do good to do whatever you wanted to do in the first place and sometimes those motivations come from the little things the little things that are enjoyable today like you know the birds were singing the the the, the flowers are blooming or something like very simple as snow it could be very satisfaction it could be a real satisfaction to have like, oh my god, it's snowing. It's so cool. Don't you see? It's really cool. So yeah. I hope I hope you guys also have that kind of feeling. Like, you know, little satisfactions. Like, did you know that I got satisfied because, you know, I could finally sleep correctly? I turned my bed upside down and that, that saved me a lot of stuff. But... Buzzy, but busy, but I have four days of weekend on, for the holidays. That's that start tomorrow, so I gotta make it through the day, and I'm golden. Nice, nice. Well, I hope you make it, Blue. I hope you make it. I really hope. I really hope you do. You know, I, you know, like changing up a changing up your bed so that you know. Your bed is actually done correctly because I was sleeping on my bed like wrongfully. Apparently, I put the blankets wrong. So yeah, I switched it up. Now it's done. Now it's good. I have now no longer. I have now the blanket again instead of the the raw end of the blanket. So yeah. Ah, a good day begins with a smile. Probably. Just begin your day with a dance. Mm, that's better. Oh man. I just remember that in uh I just remember that in New Year's Eve I actually we don't have any fireworks to fire off. Oh man. That's the first. That's the first union, union's Eve that actually the whole damn country does not even fire one single firework. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be a great start of a year, you know, just not celebrating it with fireworks. I guess I need to do something else then to celebrate it. Hmm. But what? Just I think I'm just gonna be celebrating it with friends anyway, so. Eh, I don't mind. Oh, hey, Mark. I will say, even though I'm tired, I'm very happy with what I wrote last night. So it got me pretty, uh, it caught me pretty happy today. All uh, and all. Nice. Well, you know, I remember what I wrote down yesterday, and I was pretty happy as well what I did. That's why was I also tired, because I had to think, I had to write, oh no, 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 wait, that was the day before that. Well, anyway, writing is in indeed exhausting, especially when you're trying to focus upon, you know, getting the words right, getting everything right, the sentences and everything else. But yeah, it happens, you know, it happens. Ow. There you go. My nails. My fingers are like really, 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 really stiff. It's because I did draw I did drawing yesterday too many times and I still feel fraud fall uh, fra uh, fall back from it. So yeah. Um As I said before Gaming in a stiff uh, game uh gaming in a stiff position is not a very good idea. And you know, my hands are like really stiff right now. It's like, oh, that's a massive burn. If I would have been gone climbing, oh, 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 
I would have gained burn wound. Uh, I would have gained these bruises. Yeah. But the good news is I I did some gaming today. So yeah, I did I did some gaming, and I'm very happy that I did the, the do the gaming because you know it's my hobby. It's my it's my favorite hobby playing ga video games. And you know, it's a very fun game. I reinstalled the game, I removed the game, because, you know, apparently, I could not play Bloody Damn Cyberpunk uh, without, you know, dropping to, tw uh, to 20 frames per second. I checked out, like, how much and what it needed to cost and what, what kind of problems my uh, GPU had for it. And... Uh, glad to hear from you guys you're ma making progress. Oh, yeah, I am making progress as we speak. Oh, I'm doing the magic trick here. I am coloring, and then there's color showing up, and then the more color I put into on, on, on it, the beautiful it gets. It's like, you know, creating art or something. It's like, oh, very spooky. Very spooky indeed. So yeah, the the idea of like you know you're playing video games and you you want to analyze you want to analysis like what the hell how the hell did this not you know how the hell this 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 game only run at 30 frames per second on my PC even though my PC is like really powerful for my for my liking because you know my baby does does is is improved like. From a a crashy, crashy, crappy PC to already a PC master race. So I found out that I could not run Cyberpunk quite optimal. I was like, ah, yes, I see. So I run some analysis on it, and it turns out that uh, it took 30 RAM to run it. And I was like, excuse me, why does this thing take like 30 RAM to to run? And I was like, ah, uh, that's not supposed to happen on a normal game. No. So I, re I realized that it was actually terribly optimized. Who would have thought that it would be terribly optimized? I would not have thought about this, even though the game was actually quite in a rocky state at launch. Hmm, hmm, and still is. So yeah. I figured out a problem, and then I tried to run a very extreme game. You know, I, I tried to run a very extreme game that I like to play. It's called um, it's called The Hunter: Call of the Wild, which is actually a hunting simulation game. So you already get where that is going. I ran it at, at the maximum settings, and holy hell, that thing ran like did that thing run 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 uh ran really well like 60 frames per second steady with full lens uh motion blur and everything so there is indeed a problem with you know the optimization of cyberpunk yeah i so yeah and as long as they did not fix that i was thinking like eh, maybe i should just you know put it on a hold Wait for it to be fixed and then, you know, take my time. So, yeah, I'm gonna be taking my time off from Cyberpunk because, you know, it's indeed addicted to play. The game st the gameplay is fun. But, you know, it, it gets really tiresome when you have, like, you need to drive, but, you know, the controls don't work because of all the frame rate issues it had. <laughs> well, I feel a little bit guilty enjoying Cyberpunk because it's, uh, uh, for us, uh, for us, a mess, and they still should feel bad for releasing it in that uh, that state. By the way, yeah, but the the idea of it is like it's terribly optimized. I could run it at like 30 frames per second on medium settings, and still, then it still looks good. All right, it still looks great, but it's so terribly optimized that I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be playing it. I already have succeeded the whole damn campaign and all that, all of it. If I now forget about it and wait for it to be patched, 
and then go back towards it, I will enjoy it again with all the full experience that I had before. So that's the idea. Like I already, I already experienced every single ending because you know, I played this thing like three days full straight, almost like five year, day, uh, five hours of sleep or something. So yeah, I I, I was really uh, <laughs> uh, um, addicted. So yeah, I really like the game. I really do. Would I recommend it? <laughs> no, not in that state. Not in that that state in, indefinitely. But it is a good game, though. It's a good game, but a terrible game at the same time. It's a good game, but it's a terrible game at the same time. You know, that's it's a thing. You know, you, you can say that, right? You can say that something is bad and good at the same time. It has its it has its flaws. It has its it has its good sides. But I was not I was not. No. I was focusing more on the. Uh, I was more focusing on the. Uh, on the story than actually on the game. I was more focusing on the story than actually on the gameplay and the bugs. The gameplay was good and fine for me because I played a full melee build on the hardest difficulty and I won. So, yeah, I completed the game in the f hardest difficulty with only melee, and I was like, yeah, this works. This definitely works, so I don't mind. But yeah. Um, it does, it, it is still unplayable. It's still playable, but, you know, I, I just, I'm just going to be quitting and then, you know, going to be going after that again in, like, two months or something. I'm going to give it another chance or something like that. Probably. I'm not gonna be a dick and refund, uh, refund uh, trying to refund it. If the game just gets fixed, I'm I'm already happy enough because then I can play it again. So that's more like it. Like, hey, I want to play this game, but you know it could use uh, optimization. Yeah, it could be using that. It's either that they're gonna release it or the models are, are gonna be doing it. So yeah. Also, I realized that there are some bugs in the game, so don't mind me if uh, those get fixed. <laughs> collision mods, uh, collision bugs are so funny. You step into a car that's upside down, and then it and then it's gonna and then it's gonna be doing a 380 no scope, and then crashes and explodes. That's the best way how to step into a vehicle, just exploding and dying. I'm still wondering if I could actually survive an explosion if uh, if I had the full resistance of explosions uh, on a character. The bug. Poor console gamers. Yeah, poor them. <laughs> the bugs are uh, are making it really fun. Yeah. Technically, they remind me more of Skyrim than Oblivion, actually. Like. I had once that somebody was like, shoot that damn vehicle! And I was like, alright, I pick up my gun. And the only thing I saw was my finger. And I was like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> now you're dead, even though I don't wear a gun. <laughs> I had it also with a shotgun, so it was like, haha, I wear nothing. And I'm gonna be shooting with a pew, pew. <laughs> The be the best one is actually the uh, best one is actually the submachine gun, and you have this like this hand sitting there in front of you, and then pulling the trigger, and you don't see any you know physical physical model of the gun, and you see you see gunfire coming out of your hand. It's like ha ah, ha, shoot with hand, it's so powerful. Take that. <laughs> uh I also beat the game on on the hardest difficulty, but you know you know what the best weapon was actually the gorilla hands. Oh man, those things were awesome. Because I was actually using mainly uh, uh, blunt weapons, I could just go go to town with them. I just bash, bish, bash, bush, and then you know somebody died. That's how cool. I, that's how cool that weapon was. Like crushing skulls in slow motion was the best. Also, the combat system of uh, Malay is actually quite cool. You could do these epic dodges, parries, and all that stuff. 
but because the AI is actually poorly, because the AI is actually quite poorly made, you know, they never gonna go melee. Only the melee dudes are gonna go melee, and they have like these insane combos, and you need to watch out for them. So what I always do was like, I see this melee guy, I will sneak up on him and bash hat, and then he dies. It's like very fun. Have you guys seen the glitch uh, uh, up the side? Uh, uh, glitch up the side It looks hysterical. People are using it to go back on top of Arasaka Tower for Super kata uh, Katana Day. They they missed it. <laughs> nice. If they missed it, nice, nice. I um, you know what I actually did. At the beginning area, where you have your bed and your room, that area actually has dead zones in it. So you could not go from, you could not go downstairs and then you know jump or uh, uh, jump to another building part and then you know climb up there and speak to those people. The funny thing is actually I did do it. I went down and I followed a certain path. When, when there were no dead zones. Eventually I actually entered, I was actually down on the ground uh, on top of a car, on top of a cart. So there are dead zones, yes, but you could technically do it. You could actually w uh, go the whole way down where everybody is walking and you could then sit on a cart and there are some items there, some junk items. And what I did then, after that, was actually shoot those uh, shoot uh, shoot those uh, civilians to see if they actually had you know immortality, which they didn't, which was actually quite amusing to see. So eventually, you know, the the police is coming up, but the police actually is terribly made because you know they spawn in front of your face, or spawn behind you, so you will always be hit in the back or you will be hit in the front. But because there were no access points to reach to me, they actually spawned a dead. So they spawned in and died because of the dead zone. So apparently hostile NPCs actually are not immune. The only pe people that are immune are the uh, people that just are getting generally generated, not the police people. Which was actually quite funny to see, you know, Every policeman just spawning and then like, oh, I died. He got me. No. It was actually quite fun to see just you know all the police die, and that's how you actually get towards um, that's how you actually can survive a five star rating police assault. You know, just do it casually. Just go, just go downstairs from the start. And then you know go to a dead zone where no police, where the police spawn spawn in dead, so they will die, as easy as you know, dying is. So yeah, they just do they wreck they wreck roll to death. I still wonder if I could st uh, if I could if I could make a bridge out of ragdolls, you know, make a bridge out of ragdolls so that you know I won't touch the dead zone. I have not touch I have not done that yet, but that's the thing that I might one day might well want to do because you know that takes a lot of stuff. I also noticed that the um, corpses that you leave behind actually take a full day to uh, disappear. So as long as you kill enough people you should technically not see any bodies disappear even though you kill a lot of people. So yeah. Quite fun game. Quite fun game indeed. A real funny game to play. It's really enjoyable. But damn, it's terribly optimized. Story, great. Gameplay, gunplay, weapons, great. But optimization and bugs, ooh, many things, problems with that. Anyway. Um, I think that's it for today. So let's see how far we got. Ooh, we almost got there. Only one, two, three, four, five to go, and then we can start on the midsection of it. So we can start on the other section of the wing. So um, I want to say to you all, thank you very much for joining me, uh, joining me for today on my stream.
and uh, I wish you all a great day. And until then, until the next time, have a nice day, everybody. Bye.